Hey guys, Dennis here, and today I want to discuss Google My Business Optimization. Now, I want to discuss a specific hack that you can use to start populating in cities that are by you where you're not specifically located, right? So, let's say you're located um, in something like Sacramento, where I'm from, right? So, you have the Sacramento City or the Sacramento County, and then you have a bunch of these little suburbs and cities that are around Sacramento. So if my Google My Business listing is specifically designed to rank in Sacramento, which it is, how do I start showing up to these little suburbs, these little counties that are next to Sacramento that I'm not specifically showing up for? Now there's a lot of ways that you can optimize this. These include things like having content, geo-relevant content on your website. But today I wanna to show you a specific little hack that just can give you a little bit more extra juice in the eyes of Google to start showing up in these surrounding counties and cities that are, um, net, that are right next to your main city for which you're ranking. Now, this is specifically important for areas that are of high population and more importantly, not even high population, that are of high competition, right? So if you are in a big city, let's say Los Angeles, New York, San Francisco, you want to start ranking for these smaller towns around the bigger city. What that's going to do is that when Google gives you the authority and starts ranking you in these smaller towns, you're gonna gain authority around the major city. So Google is gonna give you more authority within the major city. I hope that makes sense. Basically, you're getting more traction within the eyes of Google, and that's going to make you more successful and start showing your business in more places, which means you're gonna get more calls, right? And all you need to do, just answer those calls and provide the business, all right? So we're gonna hop into my computer and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. It's gonna be a little hack that you can do on your Google My Business to make this work. Now, uh, before we jump into the computer, leave me a comment down below if you wanna work personally with me on a your Google My Business listing. This is going to be a more of a one-on-one -on -one uh, type of deal. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment below. But with, uh, without further ado, can't talk today. Without further ado, let's hop into my computer and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this little hack that you can start getting relevance around your major ranking city. So let's go. All right. So inside of the computer, once you're logged into your Google My Business, um, you're gonna see your dashboard, right? This is the normal dashboard and what we want to do to get to start ranking in these little suburbs that are next to the major city you're trying to rank for is what we want to do is we want to go to info over on the left bar and there's going to be a services section right down here on the bottom. Uh, this is just a test listing that I'm running so I'm not really afraid to change things around and as you can see it's asking me to add a section this add a section is right at the top here and the way that i like to set this up is to have a section that is based on the county that is next to my main ranking county so if i'm ranking within los angeles and my main county is los angeles county i suppose there is one um, well, let's just use Sacramento because I live here. So I, I'm ranking within the Sacramento County, but let's say I want to rank within Placer County, which is the county next over to me, kind of the next county over. What I would, what I would want to do is I would just name this section as Placer County. All right. So we're going to write that in here. Placer County. Okay. And then in the item name, I want to add a service that I do plus the city that I'm trying to rank for within Placer County. So an example of this would be um, Roseville. So Roseville is a city within Placer County and then I wanna pair the city name with the service that I offer. So in this case, because this GMB is for hardwood installation, I would just write something like Roseville Hardwood installation does that make sense so 
within this within my google my business hardware installate within the Google gmb my gmb name is sacramento hardware installation but i want to work for roseville as well so i'm putting roseville hardware installation as well here in the item description the next line over i would want to write something like we are a full service roseville uh hardwood ins installation contractor right top rated fully insured and bonded we come we come and provide free estimates right this is completely off the bat you probably want to do a little bit of a better job at writing out your item description but you want to include a little bit of the keywords not too many but some keywords that talk about the service that you offer so some kind of flooring keywords and some kind of rosewool keywords right in this case we're already putting a full service Roseville hardwood contractor so that's the keyword that's already in the item description that that we would want to rank for anyways all right so all we do in this case we just we press add and there we go at the top here we have placer county and then we have Roseville hardwood installation what's next well what other cities are within placer county the next city that I can think of is El Dorado Hills. We just type in El Dorado Hills hardwood installation. There we go. Same thing here. We we are a full full service El Dorado Hills hardwood installation contractor. Add boom so there we go so what you want to do is you want to let me go back here you want to add as many cities that are within the next um the next county that you want to rank for as many as you can and just add a good description try to try to not copy and paste the description um, that you're you know so in terms of let's say the Roseville hardware installation there's one description under the Roseville hardware installation make it slightly different for El Dorado you know just just tweak a couple of things don't copy and paste it exactly um, but yeah add as many cities as you can within this Placer County and then you can add another county here in the add section so what other county is there hmm <laughs> um, I think there's Yolo County next to Sacramento and uh, I know that uh, I believe that part of West Sacramento is within Yolo County so in this case I would just put in West Sacramento hardwood installation and item description same thing we're a full service West Sacramento hardwood installation contractor got it okay cancel boom there we go so if we save this it should be saved already uh, once the seat says your your changes are pending once this is all saved what we want to do is we actually want to go and see this on search how it's gonna look anyway guys it's taking some time to approve the changes that I just made but basically what you're telling Google is that you are performing services within this see within these cities and what that's telling Google is that, hey, maybe I should play Sacramento hardware installation somewhere within that city. So when somebody within that the county and city is searching for hardware installation, you're going to start slowly popping up. This is one of those kind of little hacks. You know, this is not a necessarily full blown strategy. It's not the most powerful one, but it's going to give you the extra edge over your competitors and that's going to help you to rank higher and to um, get more visibility across the general spectrum of all the areas that you want to rank for. All right. So thank you so much for watching. This is pretty much it. Again, if you're interested in working with me kind of in a, in a group coaching environment, 
leave a comment down below i'll be down there answering your questions so if that's something you're interested in leave a comment down below if you have any other questions leave them down below as well go ahead and like this video subscribe to the channel for more awesome um ranking and seo videos other than that again thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time Bye bye